If you are obsessed with organizing and maximizing the spaces in your home, then this DIY is for you. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and here are 14 savvy shelf ideas that are totally easy to DIY. 1. Pegboard is perfect for any house, especially if you have a big empty. You can use this huge pegboard as a shelf to hang plants, art, or even picture frames. Here's how you do it. First, start by figuring out the spacing of your holes and then centering your holes. Stack your wood so that it is all face up. Then mark where you're going to drill. When you take it off, it will look like this. Make a jig. The hardest part of this project is making sure that your drill stays at a 90 degree angle while you are drilling the holes. Here's what it looks like after you finish drilling. Determine the height of your installed pegboard and install the support boards. And last, attach the pegboard using small head cabinet screws or high quality finishing nails. Two, this is a combination of stairs and shelves and is perfect for the dining room to store bowls and other utensils. For the long side, take your first board and measure down four inches and mark. Take a small drill bit and drill all the way through your board on each of the marks. Take your short board and measure down 2.5 inches. Drill all the way through the board. Use a roll of tape to mark the arc for the edges, and then a jigsaw to cut the excess off. Cut seven dowels for each side of the ladder. Drill a small divot into the center of the dowel. Set your screws into the sides of your boards and line the points up with the divots in the dowels before you drill all the way through. Finish the ladder by adding the dowel to the board. After you've painted, stained, or finished all of the wood, connect the short and tall ladder using connector bolts plus nut caps. And here is the end result. Three, these belted belts are perfect in the living room where you can store utensils or collectible items. Cut the belt straps to the same length. Fold the straps in half and screw in the screws that come with the drywall anchors. Mark on your wall where the straps will be mounted, starting with the top board. Once both sets of straps are installed, slide both the boards through, adjust them to be level and admire your handiwork. Four, these pallet shelves will give a rustic look that can fit almost any home style and home decor. These shelves would also look great at the walls outside your home where you can display small plants. The shelves are made of repurposed sections of GMA pallets held by strong steel hooks installed at the back of the shelves to be able to hold everything stored inside the pockets. Five, simply create a foundation by putting six popsicle sticks together forming a hexagon, then continue by adding layers of hexagon on top of the basic hexagon. These shelves look trendy, and you can even paint them in any color depending on your preference. You can paint it with a dark brown color to make it look like wood to give you a rustic feel. They look great on the wall, especially when you use it to display small plants or ornaments. Six, these industrial pipe shelves look cool and you can easily make them without spending a lot of time and money. Here's how you do it. Wash the oil off the pipes, and once they are dry, rough the pipe parts up with sandpaper and spray paint all the parts using a flat black color. Buy one long piece and then cut them to size. Put a coat of stain on each shelf. Screw in the pipe, then screw on the caps, and place the shelf on top of the pipes. Pretty darn easy, right? Seven, this is also another recyclable shelf where you can use leftover copper pipes instead of the industrial ones to support the shelves. Cut your copper pipe using the pipe cutter. Measure where you want your shelf to be and use a drill to screw in your flanges on the dots. Place one pipe piece inside the male adapter. Repeat on the other side and for any other shelves. Place your shelf on top of the two pipe pieces. Add a tube cap to the end of the pipe pieces to create a more finished look. And last, decorate your new shelves. 
Eight. You might imagine Tetris shapes falling from the sky when you look at these shelves and close your eyes. They are perfect for rooms that have a modern style. Start with one half inch plywood and draw a grid on it. After drawing your shapes, cut them out with a jigsaw. Cut out the pieces for the sides. Start with the one by four rectangle shelf. Basically, it's like a really simple puzzle to get the rest of the sides together, with some pieces the same length as the base. Assemble everything using wood glue and regular finishing nails. Once they are all put together, use wood filler up the seams and on the edges to give a smoother look for painting. And here is the result. Nine, these shelves aren't multifunctional because you really can't put anything on top of them, but they look really pretty, especially in the living room. Drill a hole into the lid and the wood. Hot glue the lid onto the wood and press down until dry. 10. This floating driftwood shelf looks great on your bedroom, where you can display anything on it depending on your bedroom's theme. First, prep the wood by cutting to the correct length. Drill the holes in the wood and make sure you drill far enough to make the shelf secure. Mark on the wall, drill it using a normal drill bit, hammer in the wall plugs, and then screw in your long screws. Keep checking the length of the screws against the shelf as you want it to sit flush against the wall. It's so handy for displaying bits and pieces at your home. 11. The rope shelves look simple yet stylish, and they're not expensive. You can easily turn them into a weekend project since they're easy to make. Drill holes in the wood where you would attach the rope. Also, drill two holes on the wall where you would attach the large hook screws. Decide on the length of the ropes and feed each end through the holes. Tie a knot underneath the wood and tie the other ends in a knot and hang them on the hook screws. You can always adjust the level or height of the shelves by adjusting the top knots. 12. The quilting hoop shelf is unique for its circular shape and its functionality making it stylish. First, connect three quilting hoops by clamping them together. Cut the base wood sheets and use a E600 glue to attach its sides to the inside of the quilted hoops. Allow the glue to fully dry by placing the base wood sheets in an upright position. Once everything is dry, drill two small holes on the upper right and upper left side of the hoops. Attach a leather lace to those holes and tie the knots securely underneath the hoops. 13. This shelf is made of old crates that you can put together and hang on the wall. They are perfect in the kitchen to store spices. And it's a great organizer for small things that can be easily misplaced. 14. Maximize the space in the corners of your wall by installing shelves to display plants and figurines. It's quite tedious to make, but once you finish this project, this is a great way to organize and declutter your home. First, cut all of your wood. Find the diagram at a beautiful mess. Once you cut it, sand all the pieces. Assemble figure A and B from the diagram. Visualize the spacing at your wall using a painter's tape. Start at the bottom and work your way up. You can screw or nail those on and hopefully your walls are nice and square. Screw or nail on the underside and end pieces. Putty any nail or screw holes. Tape the wall if you're going to paint another color. Once you paint, you're done. Time to put your stuff on display. So, what do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. For more DIY hacks and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.